elsewhere. Strapped for cash and relying on bull semen to help close a budget gap? I am not kidding, ladies and gentlemen. States looking just about everywhere to raise money, and I mean everywhere. Jamie Weinstein from the Daily Caller here to break down the top five silliest state tax hikes. Jamie, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. I'm gonna, I've got five. I've got limited time. I'm going to run through them real fast. Number one, you own a vacation home and you could be taxed as a permanent resident. What's that all about? Right. There was a ruling last month in New York that there was this couple lived in Connecticut, as a, lot, as a lot of people do, and commute to New York, but they also owned a vacation home in New York City. And the state ruled that they could actually be taxed, taxed the state income tax on all of their income in New York because they owned a vacation home there uh, in New York City. Uh, okay. So, so that, that's a way to raise money. They're trying to do that in New York. That's a bombshell, actually. Uh, number two, Colorado wants to tax bull semen. Right, they actually do tax bull semen. This was passed last year. Uh, Republicans in the st new state legislature, uh, they just took over, uh, apparently don't want to live in a country where bull semen is taxed. Uh, so they are working to eliminate that tax. Now here's an important one, number three. California will tax out-of-state retailers with internet sales in California. That's a big deal. Right, and it's not even clear it's constitutional. They're trying to get around, uh, around the law by saying that uh, the, the Internet user, let's say Amazon.com, has a place in California if there's an advertiser uh, that, that uses them, utilizes them to direct traffic to them. So it's kind of very a roundabout way. Uh, they're, they're doing that to enforce the California inco state uh, income tax or, or sales tax there. And here's where we get silly again. A $5 tax per sex act in Nevada, in Nevada counties where prostitution is legal. I don't think you need to explain that one, but maybe you want to repeat it. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This one actually is the, the farthest one back. This came back during the financial crisis in 2009. It failed in the Nevada legislature. But believe it or not, the, uh, the Nevada Brothel Association, which to my knowledge is the largest, largest brothel association in America, uh, supported the tax because they wanted to uh, legitimize themselves as a legitimate business. Okay. Number five, Texas, a $100 surcharge on SUVs. Yeah, in Texas, they, they just had a commission report and a way to raise funds to, to, to shrink their budget deficit. And one of the ways they were thinking of doing it is charging uh, large vehicles like SUVs and trucks $100 uh, to, to tax them so they can comply with clean air standards. You know, look, we, we call these the silliest state tax hikes, but there's nothing silly about a $100 surcharge on an SUV. There is nothing silly about charging someone with a vacation home in one state as if they were a resident of that state. That costs big money. And there is nothing silly about California taxing retailers who do sales out of state. That's absolutely serious stuff. No, you're absolutely right. In, 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 in Texas and in New York, one of the worries is that if you start taxing vacation homes, people won't buy vacation right. homes and won't come to vacation in New York. And if you tax SUVs, you're going to hurt uh, truckers and small business people that depend on these things. So it, it's likely that it will hurt, uh, hurt business rather than help close the deficit. The bottom line surely is that all of these states are in such dire financial straits that they have to go to these extremes to tax just about everything or raise fees on just about everything. That's what we're facing, isn't it? Yeah, they, there's you know hundreds of billions of dollars combined. If you combine all the deficits across the 50 states, it's pretty staggering. Uh, they're in pretty terrible shape. But the way to do it, uh, according to at least some, is is to tax uh, I, to, to 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 bridge those deficits. But a lot of people don't believe that's the best way to do it because you're going to shrink business uh, and then reduce the number of rev amount of revenue you're getting in anyways. Jamie Weinstein, the Daily Caller. You figured it all out. Thanks very much indeed, Jamie. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me.